Hi and welcome to this week's video. So in this one we're going to have a look at the Sweeney Sun and all the books and the annuals and some bits and bobs that were released for it back in the 70s. So sit back, relax, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get to it. So here it is, the very first Sweeney paperback. Um, infamous because they spelt the name wrong. <laughs> they left out the E between uh, N and Y there. So uh, this is the first edition. It was uh, hastily reprinted with the correct title in. I don't actually have the reprint with the correct title, but this is uh, the very first uh, Sweeney book. Um, and this one was uh, by one of the series creators, uh, Ian Kennedy Martin. And um, it was published, uh, as I said, in the UK by Future in 1975. So it's the very first uh, Sweeney novel. Now, the next one is uh, Regan. So this was an adaption of the pilot. And uh, you can see they've uh, <laughs> they've cheekily taken the same photo there. Um, but this is uh, regarded as the first book in the series, even though it's actually the second. And it gets really quite confusing because they even number these books on the back. So it doesn't really help things. But this was actually the second uh, second novel. And this is uh, Sweeney number two. So Reagan and the Manhattan File. That's again Ian Kennedy Martin. Now these are actually really good books in their own right. Even if they weren't Sweeney novels, these are excellent. And there are 10 in the whole series, and I've read, I've read the lot of them. Um, I remember tracking these down in the late 80s uh, when I first got into the Sweeney. And uh, they were really, really plentiful then. So uh, I, I don't think they're a fortune now by any means, but trying to find really nice mint ones definitely, definitely are. Um, to the best of my knowledge, all bar one of my books is actually a first edition. Um, this is uh, Reagan and the Manhattan File. <clears throat> and then this one, which they class as number three, but it's actually uh, number five, uh, Reagan and the Deal of the Century. I remember this one being a particularly good novel. Um, once again, these are just stills that they've um, they've taken from various episodes. Uh, there we are, courtesy of uh, Thames Thames Television. Certainly, such such a great series, uh, the Sweeney, one of my favourite uh, police dramas, <clears throat> along with Between the Lines. If any of you remember that one? Um, now this is uh, Regan and the Le Lebanese Shipment. This is uh, obviously a drug drug related one. Um, yeah, and uh, change of author as well. Now we've got Joe Balham taking over the reins. <clears throat> the Human Pipeline. So, Rondo, these are books that came out in 1976 and 1977. Uh, Human Pipeline. And by this time, they were really churning these out, um, one every few months. Uh, Snout Who Cried Wolf. Quite a cool one, that. They say this is the sixth novel. Once again, these are Futura. Reagan and the Bent Stripper. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, yeah. Blaggers there, look at his glasses. <laughs> brilliant. Not the best copy there, got a bit of a sticker on, but a lot of these, you know, you just, uh, I remember picking them up in second-hand book, book shops when they were still a thing and... Uh, being delighted. This one's actually beautiful condition. Um, Regan and the uh, Venetian Virgin. Um, nice cover, that one. I always find, historically, books with a black cover are easily marked. So this one's got a tiny little crease in the top corner there, but probably trying to find that one in really nice nick with a perfect spine is uh, going to be quite a hard, a hard job. <clears throat> and then we've got this one, which has been read a few times at Regan and the High Rollers, uh, familiar still there. Um, once again, Joe Balham. And the very last of the novels was um, the adaption of the Sweeney 2 movie. Um, they would subtitle it The Blag. Um, really violent for its day movie, uh, like the series, in fact. And this is just a, a nice tie-in. Um, same publisher, Futura, but just ties into the movie there. And that's the very last one coming out in 1978. Now, I've got a few other oddities related to the Sweeney, so I'm just going to pop them over there. So this is um, a book club hardback, and this is Reagan and the uh, Deal of the Century. So this is, uh, you know, it's in the bottom there, book, book club associates. And they did at least this one and another one, because uh, there's two listed. 
uh, in fact three listed um this is the only hardback i've got of the original novels but i'm absolutely certain that more of these uh, do exist and um the next thing we'll do if i pop those over there peculiar just to the uk were children's annuals now these are uh, large format books and for the Sweeney they actually did three of them published three of them let's give these a bit more room and they're published by uh, Brown Watson in the UK and uh, these are your typical children's annual and it's certainly aimed at kids even though you know the show itself you wouldn't exactly say was was designed for children um, and these are just the typical mixture of like spy stories, a bit of behind the scenes uh, photographs, you know, not forgetting Dennis Waterman was a bit of a heartthrob back then as well. Um, so there's plenty of stills. A typical British owner. Now they did three of these in 76, 77 and 78. This is particularly good, actually. This is the, uh, the 78 one, I believe. And um, this has got this really good behind the scenes stills, which is actually excellent. So uh, recommended uh, to get these. That's the 78. This is the 77. Uh, similar format to the other ones. They got crosswords. I think oh, mine of crosswords are partially attempted. The comic strip, um, you know, just the usual sort of thing that you would see. Some you know behind the scenes stuff. A look at the stuntman there, which is pretty good. John thought, yeah, there's my, uh, this is typical of, of 70s annuals. You find them and then the crosswords have been started. <laughs> but there you go. I'm just delighted to have these because they are a nice little part of the Sweeney, Sweeney memorabilia because there isn't a lot of it, let's be honest. And then this was the very, very first one uh, from 76. And this is the first Sweeney annual. And as you see, all three of them, a very similar format to what you're looking at here. Now, just a couple more books to show you before we wrap this video up. So let's pop that one there and get try and get these in frame as much as possible. I've got the great books back. And the last couple of things I'm going to show you. So we've got Sweeney, the official companion. So this is actually really, really great. And it's uh, an episode guide. Well, to every, <laughs> it is what it is. Every single episode making of how the series came together um uh, a great great book this one came out in uh, i believe oh quite a while back now let's have a look uh 2002 can you believe it was that long but i remember buying it at the time absolutely uh, soaking it up it's great great book this one well worth tracking down alongside this one which i believe has now been reprinted but this was the first one and this is uh shut it by pat gilbert and this was uh uh, or shat it um, a pipe at Gilbert and this was uh, Inside Story of the Sweeney this uh, only came out about seven or eight years ago um, this is the hardback and it has been republished in paperback and this is also uh, well worth a look um, I will of course put links to, to picking up Sweeney bits and bobs if you want to track down these books or anything else uh, in the links below uh, this video but there we are so I do have some other um, nice Sweeney bits and bobs and memorabilia, some rare records. I've got a script for the second movie, some poster books, um, some promotional stills and autographs and things like that. So what I'll try and do um, when I've dug all that out and I've got it all together, um, I'll do a follow up video and I'll show some of my other Sweeney rarities. So that concludes our look at those 70s annuals and paperbacks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed looking through them as much as I did. So if you wouldn't mind, please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I do hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.